Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Friday, November 5th. I'm Sean Coffey. We're getting a check of our forecast now with meteorologist Logan Westrope. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. Happy Friday, everyone. A cold start once again this morning as we have temperatures as we're waking up, heading out the door into the 20s and areas of some frost as well. As we go throughout this afternoon, we have temperatures back up into the middle to upper 40s and still with high pressure and control for today. That will allow for plenty of sunshine as we go throughout the morning and afternoon hours. But looking great, though, especially if you have any plans for this evening, as we continue to stay dry and mostly clear on the cold side. Temperatures tonight falling back into the mid to upper 20s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Plenty of sunshine as we go into Saturday with high pressure still in control. Temperatures slightly warmer into the lower 50s. A few more additional clouds possible as we go into Sunday, but still looking for a good deal of sunshine. Temperatures will be into the mid 50s. And then Sean, as we go into next week, we continue with that dry stretch and temperatures a little bit warmer, closer to 60. All right, Logan, thank you. The Scranton School district and the teachers union held a negotiation session last night, but they did not come to an agreement. According to the superintendent, there's a $13 million pay gap. To put that into perspective, the district believes it would have to raise taxes by more than 20% to come up with what the union is asking for. The strike continues today in the Scranton School District. The teachers union is allowing those who coach sports to continue holding practice. And the state health department's acting health secretary is urging families to get their young children vaccinated against COVID-19. Allison Beam joined others at Pediatrics of Northeastern Pennsylvania in Dixon City for a news conference Thursday. She said the state will have more than 414,000 kid doses by the end of the week, with more shipments coming next week. She and others also emphasized the kids' vaccine is both safe and effective. The plan is to send school kids home with information to their parents or guardians explaining the safety and effectiveness of kid doses. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. But for the very latest, visit pahomepage.com.